Hello, this is Daniel Hall of Panola College. Uh, part 9 of the Predator Build. This is a very short clip just on how to torque down your flywheel nut, uh, which should be done before you hang all of your exterior parts and pieces. Uh, so you will need a strap wrench or a rubber strap wrench. This is a cloth strap wrench. I will take an air impact and just snug it and then we'll use an actual um, torque gauge, uh, torque wrench to set it. It is 100 foot pounds. It is the only foot pound reading on the entire engine. Everything else is in inch pounds and it's 100 foot pounds so it's pretty stout. So that's why I start as a 19 millimeter with my air gun. Make sure you're going clockwise. I'm just going to seat it gently. And then I'm going to have Mr. Lucas come over here and help hold. You'll need your lap partner to help pull down to the table. Your strap wrench should be jammed against the bottom of the table. And you'll need an extension. Don't forget a three inch extension. This is a digital. It is foot pounds, newton meters, uh, kilograms per centimeter, inch pounds, it's all of it. So you have to make sure your own foot pounds, the little arrow is there, it says 100. We have three indicator lights here uh, that we have to look for. We want the green to 100%. And since this is a single nut, we do not have to go in stages. We can go straight to 100. So. Fifty three, sixty, seventy, getting close. And that's it, green. So it does take quite a bit of effort to get there. Um, you want to make sure that your wrench is set up properly, you got good pressure on it, or you'll end up busting your knuckle or bending sheet metal. But that is torquing the flywheel nut. What is very important is when we talked about in part eight on how to set your little dowels around this plastic flywheel and on this clutch. If you misalign those and you torque that down to 100, you will actually crack this cast iron flywheel with just these little plastic dowels. Although I can sit here with my hand and bend that, it is enough pressure in the right spots to bust this if you don't have everything lined up. So make sure you're good before you do your torque and now you're ready to complete out the engine. Thank you very much.